Medical activities have continued to suffer setback at the University of Benin Teaching Hospital due to the strike by the residents' doctors. Investigations revealed that consultants are on the ground to attend to some patients. A lot of people are dying and from what we are seeing here, they are referring them to a private hospital where they pay more and it is not good enough for a society. I believe the federal government should listen to them and as well as if they listen to them so that they can come back to work. At the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Altuselu Benicity, activities were at its lowest ebb owing to the strike by the resident doctors. Head of Clinical Service, Dr. Joyce Omwaregba, while commenting on the effects of the strike, appealed for a speedy resolution of the industrial dispute. And then because of the strike, um, there are various functions of the um, hospital that are carried out by resident doctors so that we cannot um, achieve anymore. And as a result of that, patients suffer. Um, because the consultants are still working for now, they are trying their best to ensure that some degree of um, services is being offered to, to the patients. But um, it cannot be the same as when we have a full complement of doctors that are working to take care of the patients. Meanwhile, state governments and private hospitals have continued to experience upsurge in patients seeking medical attention. A medical doctor with a private hospital, Dr. Jolly Guma, said the strike by the resident doctors has led to increase in the number of outdoor patients in his hospital. Private hospitals now are not having bulk of the patients, which not be surprised because the resident doctors are on strike. And I will use this opportunity to appeal to the federal government to answer the call of the residence doctor so that the strike, the strike will be cut off. The National Association of Resident Doctors commenced an indefinite nationwide strike over three weeks ago. Deborah Ugbefun reporting.